the first question is about um, a scenario okay about logistics uh, manager uh, you all want to ship something from Penang to LAX which is Los Angeles yeah and uh, you got a rate ten dollars per kg And so, your boss asks you, is this the best that you got? So, so it's about help here. Who will you reach out if you are a logistics approver for this shipment? Who will you reach out to? Okay. So, this segment is about um, the Shippers Council. I'll share a bit about what we do and how y'all can be part of it. Okay, I can't release. Uh, okay, good. Be before I I go into the poll, I just like y'all to raise hands, yeah? Um, shippers, who are the shippers in the room? Those that approve logistics spend, execute, with freight forwarders, um, any shippers here? Yes, I think it's too few. Okay, there are only three groups of people I'll ask to raise hands. Huh? Okay, so shippers is one. Okay, next group forwarders, providers, solution, um, technology providers, raise hands. Wow, okay. Okay, and, and the third one will be just academic um, policy makers. Anybody? Students. Okay. So, so I, I, it's it's quite an even crowd. Okay, between shippers and providers, and 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 the third one, um, maybe just listen along and and hope you are inspired with what we have. Yeah. Okay. So, um. So you got a quote, ten dollars per kg. You can ask another forwarder. That's what the poll says, yeah. And uh, 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 quite a number of you will reach out to your peers and your connections, and uh, that means probably other fellow shippers, yeah, or people that you know, people that you're comfortable with, people you met in the conference. Okay. So the second question. Okay, the second question. Is regards to um, shippers council itself. Will you think that it's beneficial? So even if you are a provider, it doesn't matter, okay? Because I I, I think we are here. Uh, shippers council is not to right press or reduce your cost or or reduce your margin, but we are here to. Focus its logistics excellence. Yeah. So you can answer yes, no. Those not necessary could be like Shamani. She already has a group all by herself. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your reply. That's very encouraging. So that's that's what um I'm gonna share a bit more about Shippers Council. So just a bit about myself. Um, first ten years of my career, it's really as a provider, right? So half of the room, and the next fifteen years is with a shipper, the other half of the room, right? So um today I'm gonna share a bit about what Shippers Council is about, um and. How do we and 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 how y'all can participate? Okay, so I, I'm not asking y'all to read everything. Okay, so this is just like the MVV. Um, I highlight a few points to just think. It's really about logistics excellence, about innovation, and how we can collaborate together. Okay. 
Dr. Ramon touched a bit about that yesterday. Um, throughout the whole conference, we, we do know that it's not a single solo person that rules. It's actually a group of people that can bring success and excellence to co the community. Okay, so why? Why do we have this? Uh, it's really about leveraging logistics, going back to the board and teaching them how to maximize their co competitive advantage, right? So we believe that all right um, things, those that we ship, we can uh, provide value through logistics. And, and how? And as a community, we come together, we collaborate, and we use our voice. Our voice through polls, through surveys, through articles. And I'm going to show you what um, The sum of kind of a lack. Okay, so we are here to build what I call future ready logistician. And, and that's that's the the what uh, down here and and that's why we we also like uh, to work with students uh, to get them ready uh, to be data enabled um, practitioners okay oh, good okay working um, we as a as a shippers council we take part in events like that conferences uh, we have we have a few along the way throughout the whole year. It could be different uh, locations. But this was uh, in May. We had one round table just for shippers, right? So 3PL, sorry, they were not allowed in. Um, we had one for ocean freight. We have one for air freight. And uh, this is the picture that we, we, we did that, okay? Uh, that we come together to really exchange ideas. And, and understand what do other shippers uh, look out for? How can we benchmark um, and collaborate a bit better? Okay. Um, this is an uh, article written by, if you see some names here on Sammy, Fnet, you may be familiar uh, with them. And uh, they came out with an article and uh, to, to see how can we procure um, and improve the bargaining uh, negotiations uh, during an RFQ. So we, we could talk a bit about that in a panel in the afternoon. Um, and these are some of the logos of shippers that are part of the, my team, right? So um, it's not meant to, you know, it, it's just logos for you to um, associate. To give you a flavor that you know these are actually global brands uh, with regional or even global decision makers that are part of the committee, and um, I'll be talking to your Malaysian counterpart uh, next few days to see we can collaborate a bit more. Okay, uh, we talk about air now, ocean. So ocean is uh, we have very strong people in ocean. And so they are coming out with an article on risk management. So the risk management is, is really how to um, give a perspective of where are the risks out there and how should we navigate the current ocean environment. You know, the current ocean environment is, is it went sky high rates, it went sky low, oh, sorry, no, the, the sea low. Uh, type of rates that we are seeing now, but I think they, that's not sustainable. 
So we, we do need to think of how to be ready for that. Yeah? Um, so throughout the year, uh, in, in August, in September, and October, we come up with more of these articles as part of the thought leadership that the team uh, is bringing. So we, we have friends like Decathlon, like Denzo, uh, that are contributing to these articles. Okay. Uh, and next, we have uh, performance management. And when we think of performance management, we, we, are, we, we have a back of uh, the mind that, you know, after COVID, um, after all the disruption, uh, what should we do better, right? So, so we talk about contract negotiation. We, we also think about reliability above price. So it's not, not just about going on the lowest cost down here. Right, we we also think about is it multi year? Can we lock it in uh, and still get the best rates? Uh, or how do we forecast to give the carriers a better perspective or long term perspective on how they position their vessels? Okay, so so these these are part of the performance management and and how do we pivot to that? Is um, I'm going to share in the next few slides. It's about Benchmarking. Okay, so so interestingly, um, we came out with this. Um, I came out with this idea um, that you know that there is really we we shippers um, rely so much on logistics service providers out there. Uh, almost eighty percent of our spend uh, is is with with your right logistics providers, but there's no unbiased perspective it's not something that you pay to get it's something that you 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 need uh, to hear what other people say about your providers as well okay so we came out with this benchmarking and and the goal is still back to where I, I I started from which is logistics excellence and and how we do that is through collaboration so if you scan the QR code right there are something like 25 questions and and please uh, i mean the lsbs can see the shippers i encourage you to take part in, in in this as well okay and what what is it about okay what is this index really um so so this you can continue doing the survey while i talk uh we already got more than 30 uh, respondents and across like uh, more than 100 uh, over uh, clicks and surveys of the forwarders already and you can look at the spend right it's 485 million worth of spend that we already gathered okay so we what what we are going to show in the next few months is this quadrant down here okay in the quadrant everybody wants to be the top left sorry top right quadrant which is what the ideal lsb does so we split into two um axis value axis which is vertical and we have the execution axis which is the horizontal right so so while all the lsbs wants to be on the top right you know we also see that there are a lot of lsbs that end up at the bottom left. Okay, so it, it's it's sort of a message that we it's not to shame, but it's to encourage growth, encourage improvement, uh, that we can work together with the various uh, providers. Okay, so I'm gonna um, any questions so far? No. Okay, I'm gonna. Just skip through some of the things of what the questions re are really like so that you all have an idea. Um, first will be the shipper's profile, right? What, how much they spend, who are they spending with, is it air, is it direct with ocean, is it with express? What type of shipment, right? Is it cold chain, temperature control, or carton, you know? Um, where do they spend? Are they just intra-Asia? Are they from US to Asia? Or Asia to Europe. Next, we have um, 
execution. Remember, I told you about the horizontal axis. So with the execution, they we we look at um, how LSP are executing the shipments, uh, how they are getting the transit time, uh, and delivering in full in good quantity. Okay, we have the next one, which is um, on the value question. Right, the value questions are the one on the vertical axis, and and how the the LSPs are going to look. To the shippers, to to uh, um, do they give value? Do they how how? Just now, Roger was talking about you know coming out solutions, coming with something that uh, that a customer is really looking for, without even a customer asking. So that's that's my definition of value, right? Um, and and anticipating what they need. Okay, so um. What are the outputs of this survey after after the hundreds of uh, of uh, clicks, uh, getting everybody together, um, and what we're going to share will be you know a benchmarking report for the shippers. So the more of you come in, the more aggregated and the better information we can share, um, and and of course, unfortunately, if for the certain LSP that's on the Bottom left, we you know you you can use it for your QBR and and if your boss asks you, or how do you know this LSP is the best, uh, then you look towards the top right, and and you can share or because they are the top right in in this survey that I took, yeah. So this is some of the things that we hope to achieve when you have a boardroom discussion with your boss with your C level and understand what they think and you have an answer for them and that's that goes back to the first mentimeter question right is uh do you have a group that you can rely on to ask the question okay so that aside i just want to summarize what i talked about we talked about why the shippers council uh, we also mentioned about what are the programs we do, roundtables, we publish articles, and, and all the articles for your information are free. Okay, So it's a digital uh, article. I'm not too sure whether we have physical hard copies. Uh, not sure what's happened. Okay, anyway, we, we do have. I don't know whether it's here physically, but uh, we, we do print a, a few copies. Yeah. So, so so the the digital magazines are, are available please sign up to get uh to to subscribe okay and and of of course um, this benchmarking survey is another opportunity where the shippers can participate so next step the call to action is ready to join right um part of uh Part of uh, getting all as many shippers as we have just now, I mentioned there were like thirty odd uh, shippers currently, and we welcome more. And how we actually work towards um, getting more is also to split into various interest groups, and and these are the four leaders that I have appointed to drive um, these interest groups. Right, we have sustainability and digitization, ocean and air, and and, and I mentioned just now we are. Thinking if there's a local chapters that we can work with Malaysia, why not? Yeah. Um, okay. So whether you are shipper, uh, one third of room, or LSPs, uh, you can encourage your favorite shippers to join. Yeah. Uh, and, and why? I just uh, share a story that there was this uh, forwarder. He actually recommended five of his customer to to join the the shippers council and. And because they actually they were good, they were actually part of my executive committee. And uh, they, when we talk, we, we actually share good things about this folder. Okay, so so it's 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 good that if if you all have a good recommendation, you can send to me. Uh, of course, I can be available on LinkedIn. You got my name card. If not, we can exchange uh, more. Okay. Um. So this is another just uh concluding slide to tell you uh, what, what's in it for shippers out there, right? And, and on the 
right side, you have more individual. Uh, how your individual you can benefit through networking, collaboration, and mentoring. And and uh, sorry, on the on the right side, it's it's more with your peers. On the left side, it's more individual. Yeah, uh, your your own personal fulfillment, uh, building leadership skills, uh, recognition. So so there are ways uh, that we recognize. And, and of course, if you're in Shippers Council, you have some boasting rights. Uh, you see our, your logos there. You are part of the committee and, and, and so on. Okay. Um, something to think about uh, if you're traveling around uh, this area, um, uh, there are events, but of course, uh, okay. The next meeting, it's actually Monday. So shippers out there, or even LSPs, whoever you think that should join, uh, the shippers council, uh, send let me know. Send them. Uh, there is supposed to be a uh, okay. So so just now I gave the profiling. If you all want to take pictures, WhatsApp to your friends. They all they need to do is to profile. Okay, so they profile. I will capture it. I will invite them to the shippers council. Okay. Um, or at least the seventeenth meeting, and they can decide for themselves. Okay, so well, what's next? Manila. It's in August. We have ITAP in Singapore. This on invitation only. So if you like a trip to Singapore, uh, let us know. Uh, the organizers will reach out to you. Um, CMAT is next year, and of course, uh, we are gathering what I call problem statements, and in the end. We are going to uh, work collaborative with all the LSPs out here, the providers, or even an education or headhunters. Yeah. So, so that's quite, quite exciting. A uh, few months ahead uh, for all of us. And um, I will like questions. If you have any questions? No? Am I very clear? So if no questions means you all will recommend Shippers Council to your at least three friends, okay? Three shippers to join. So do it, you will look good as well. Okay. So yeah, with with that, I, I conclude um this uh sharing.